first Christmas holiday drink. Hi, Kitty. You wanna say hi to the vlog? I wonder how many people are gonna tell us to break up after this. <laughs> Mom. Thanks for being my date. How are ya? Welcome back to the second Vlogmas. Oh, <clears throat> I clearly just woke up and like got ready while having coffee with everyone downstairs. I'm still at my parents' house. Jordy's still here. He leaves today and then we don't see each other for a month. So this is actually the last video you'll see any Jordy for the year. But I think it'll be good because, you know, Vlogmas is a lot of work. So I'll just be very much focusing <laughs> for the next month and um, doing lots of uploady type things. But we've done family things for the last eight days. And so we are going to have a date today before I take him to the airport and say bye for a long time. We're probably gonna find sushi because that's our favorite food. So that will be a lot of fun and hang out with mom and dad a little bit this morning. Y'all know my favorite soup is my grandfather's recipe, but I do a thing where I add gluten-free dumplings, but the dumpling mix is actually just gluten-free biscuit mix. We've never baked it before and we have some left over. So I think that mom and I are gonna try to make gluten-free biscuits and gravy, and then everybody else is gonna do huevos rancheros for breakfast this morning, so that's a lot of fun. And um, those are all of my big updates, but we're gonna go into San Antonio because um, that's where the airport is, so get a little city date. And uh, this swing is really growing on me. I think I actually now want to swing in my future house. Whew. I gotta get dressed, let's get dressed. I really need to wash my hair, but tomorrow's vlog, I'm going into New Braunfels to get my hair done by Anna and then hang out with Anna and Kaylee's for dinner. So I'm gonna try my little go-to trick, which is dry shampoo, a ponytail, but you leave a couple pieces forward and you just curl those pieces. And it usually kind of works. Let's see. This is my favorite hack, and in fact, when I get my hair cut tomorrow, I think I want to ask Anna to give me a little bit more, like, PC bangs around the front so that I can do this, play into this a little bit more. <laughs> I really like the, the, like, 90s, early 2000s kind of PC um, layers are really having a moment, and I, I want more of them. Okay, can we tell that I haven't washed my hair in quite a while? Also, I think I'm going to change because... Something about this sweater with these pants just isn't doing it for me. Um, let's try another option. Here's the new outfit. And here's the boy. She looks very good. Oh, you say that if I'm in sweatpants, so. But I, you, do you do? I can't go to you for real opinions. <laughs> you did it all without me and it's beautiful. Are these miniature pumpkin pies? They are. For breakfast? <laughs> Gluten free. What a strong woman move. Huevos Rancheros in the making, gluten-free biscuits, how are they? Good. Should I try a little nibble? Or should I just wait for the full thing? Whatever you want. Well, I gotta, I gotta take my Chip probiotics my before I eat. <laughs> mm. This biscuit mix, I find it at H-E-B, but it makes great dumplings and apparently, as advertised, yeah. it makes biscuits. I just, I put, I put the seasonings in it. Oh, it's so good. Um, I'm gonna take my probiotics and I have something exciting to tell them about a sale. So I'm gonna go do that outside. I'm really excited for that breakfast, but I always try to remember to take my seed before I eat breakfast because that's the rhythm and the routine I'm in. And it's also more effective to take probiotics on an empty stomach. I get to work with seed very often. I'm working with them on today's video because there's a sale and it's happening for just, just a limited amount of time. I'm sure you've heard me talk about them so many times by now um, because I am the biggest geek and nerd about gastrointestinal health. You know, dealing with a lot of tummy issues when I was growing up because of celiac disease, I'm like hyper aware of how my gut feels. Seed, it's a probiotic and a prebiotic. There's a probiotic capsule on the inside and a prebiotic capsule on the outside. And there's 24 strains, which I haven't found anything that beats it in terms of quality and in terms of like power. Normally I have a discount code that's 15% off, but for a limited time only, just for a little bit, they are taking my discount code and they're actually making it 25% off. So check down in the description because it's only gonna be for a bit. If you're watching this video later, don't worry. My code will still be active. It will just go back to 15%, but 25% off of your first month of seed is 
really such a good deal. I thought this was cool. They sent me this. They did an Instagram post about it too, about um, how your gut microbiome supports your immune system, especially right now. I know we hear so much about like cold and flu season. It's pretty much all everyone talks about in the fall and the winter, but there's something called a gut immune access and it's how your microbiome and your gut actually like talks to your immune system. And it helps to distinguish between like benign and pathogenic things in the environment around you, AKA helping you like fight off the correct things. So increase your fiber intake. That's something I need to be better about. The next is prioritizing sleep, which I think is so fascinating because maintaining a circadian rhythm helps to keep homeostasis in your microbiome and I have been wanting to prioritize sleep. I already told my parents tonight, here's my nighttime schedule. I want to be in bed by 9 p.m. The last one is managing stress. Stress increases inflammation. Inflammation can lead to something called intestinal permeability. I've, you've probably heard of it as leaky gut, which just plays into so many other things. So decreasing stress is a big one too. Taking a probiotic, there's just a lot of good easy ways that you can kind of, you know, defense up. Is that a word? Is that a phrase? Thank you, Seed, for um, being on my, my team, on my side this holiday season. And thank you to Seed for increasing my code for a little bit. So yet again, code Mikel. Currently, that'll get you 25% off your first month. If you're watching this later, no sweat, it will still get you 15% off of your first month. And I'll have that down in the description. I'm gonna take this before we eat our yummy breakfast. Mix. Bye. I'm gonna be respectful and not vlog too much during breakfast, but I wanna try this with y'all. So we're gonna try a bite of this gluten-free biscuit and gravy. This is our bite of our gluten-free biscuit and gravy. Oh my God. <laughs> Mom, there's three things I say I want if I find out I can eat gluten for a day. Biscuits and gravy, a donut, and tres leches. And this, I mean, it's been a long time. This tastes pretty real to me. Actually, could you tell me if this tastes real to you, Jordy? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, yeah. That's great. Does it taste real? Mm -hmm. Are you just being nice? Oh, it's great. Mm -hmm. I love modern science. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so before Jordy leaves, we have something funny to tell you. It's probably in the title. You know what's hilarious? Mm. is the title of this video, whatever I make it, it's gonna totally seem like clickbait, mm. but it's actually not clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. It sounds a lot worse than it is. I'll say that. I wonder how many people are gonna tell us to break up after this. So we found out technically we are, are related. related. <laughs> okay, it's not as bad as it sounds, but yeah. it is actually a really, really funny story. Just a couple months ago, we found out that the man that we thought was my grandmother's dad was not. Whole different man that she that she knew. Um, so they crazy, crazy, crazy that that happens. And you can find that out when you're like in your 80s. They love history, so they're like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Evidently not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Like, let's figure out what our new family history is. And so they like figured out, you know, the whole family tree and they were like, oh my gosh, you are a descendant of Daniel Boone. Like wow. that is crazy. That is so cool. They love history. They think that's awesome. I, apparently like people of his lineage will name their kids middle name Boone as like a way to like kind of keep that going. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's really cute. Like I could imagine having a little something Boone one day. That would be really cute. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, maybe. Then. I called Jordy because I was like, Jordy loves history. And so I called him and I was like, babe, guess what? We just found out we have a whole different family tree that we didn't even know about. We're descendants of Daniel Boone. And mom and I were talking and apparently it's like common to name your kid's middle name Boone. And I kind of want to do that. And then Jordy goes, uh, uh. Mikel, um, you know my brother Liam? He's Liam Boone. Yeah, <laughs> and are... my grandmother's maiden name was Boone. Yeah, so they're like very direct Boone. Mm -hmm. We're not as direct Boone. So his sister mm -hmm. also loves, loves history, loves, history she, loves genealogy, loves family trees. She did a, a deep dive and she's like, it was hundreds of years ago, 
I think you're good to go. Yeah, like uh, we split off our, our family lines in like the late 1700s, mm. early 1800s. I, I honestly think that a, a large majority of people are probably that le level of related to their partner mm -hmm. because, you know, that's like kind of early America. We yeah. all kind of trace back to that one way or mm -hmm. another. We just thought this would be a funny thing to share. We found this out a couple months ago and we were like, you know what? We're not going to see each other for the rest of the year. Yeah. Let's just tell them because it's kind of funny. It feels like this is totally made up clickbait and I kind of wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely wish it was. I definitely wish it was. Yeah. I think we should find some sushi. We're going to have a date. We're we have not, have. We've hung with family. Families for the last week and a half. Mm -hmm. Both our families. I'm glad we got on good family time mm -hmm. since we are all family. <laughs> Let's go take Max on a walk. Let's take Max on a walk. Tell us what you learned about about America and generations. Um, well. Uh, Joseph T. Chang has proposed that in a large well-mixed population of size n, we only have to go back 1.77 log to parentheses n generations of the past to find the time when everyone in the population who left descendants is an ancestor to the entire population. Isn't that crazy? So the TLDR of that is... 20 generations. 20 generations. Everybody's related. We're somewhere between 12 and 15. And it's not really a concern <laughs> unless it's less than six. Yeah. If you're a boon, oh, I bet there's actually so many boon, bo yeah. boonies. Boonies. Is there a name for him? Out in the boonies. Out in the boonies. If you're a boonie, please comment and we could, oh, what if we had like a boonie party? And yep. we gave out boonie it's babies. It's called a family reunion. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did some computer work. For me, that's always like, I lay down doing computer work and I think I do that instead of napping. Whenever I start to feel tired, I'm like, I'm just gonna get some computer stuff done. And I lay down and I feel a little bit revived. But I got a package that I wanna open. This is by a sweet Bernie girl. I have been opening her little packages in subscription box videos back when I used to do those for years. So she still sometimes sends me some of her new things. She does like a bralette subscription, but she's based out of my hometown. And recently she started actually like designing her own. So I'm very proud of her and I don't know what these look like. So I'm excited to see them. I wonder which one's which. I think one is November and one is December. Let's see what we got. This is the December bralette, I think. That's just a very pretty fabric. And then matching undies. Two different cuts. It looks like a high-waisted and a low-waisted maybe. Or, oh no, no, no. Just a brief and a thong version. Oh wow. So pretty, Max. Max, just join. Do you want to see what the bra looks like? Pretty. Oh, I like this one because it's kind of a little sports bra-ish in the front. And then it has like a pretty lace detail on the back. I like that a lot. I am excited. We are going to the Pearl. If you've ever been to San Antonio, the Pearl District, which was like Pearl Brewing historically, is my favorite spot in San Antonio. We actually went yesterday to go to a restaurant there for my mom's birthday. And that's like, in, in my opinion, where all the best food is. So I think we're gonna go back down there. There's a spot that is actually Latin fusion, but they have sushi. I don't know, but, um, sorry, I just got an email. My brain stopped working. Oh yeah, but I called and they said that they can do it gluten-free. So they said they have gluten-free soy sauce. So I think that's probably what we'll do. These are pretty together, Christmas colors. I want the vlog to meet Kitty. This is Keeper. Max has been slowly being nicer to Kitty. He used to think Kitty was a toy. They coexist a little bit better now. Be nice to Kitty, bud. <laughs> hi, Kitty. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Um, Kitty's been around since Jacqueline was like early elementary school and was Jacqueline's Christmas cat one year and now he's just vibing. He's a little skinny little dude, but he's happy. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun since it's Vlogmas after all to drive through the Starbs. Starbs. And get a Starbies. holiday drink. So I've perfected the way I like a um, pumpkin spice latte. I shared with the vlog and mm. a lot of people were like that actually was great and it's you add a shot oat milk and then half the number of pumps so i wonder if i try the same thing on a holiday drink but i just can't see what the holiday drinks are i'll order whatever you order and we can try it together we can try it together yeah okay i wonder what they are according to google there's peppermint mocha caramel brulee or chestnut praline which sounds best out of those two chestnut praline in a coffee context sounds interesting to me i i remember it from last year it's really good i think we should do that okay I, I think we're gonna do two of the same drink, okay. which is a tall oat milk latte with an ad shot and two pumps of chestnut praline. All right, anything else? 
I should do it. Alrighty, that'll be 1331. Thanks so much. First Christmas holiday drink, mm. but Mikkel style. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. oh. <laughs> Christmas in there. It's actually very nice. Mm -hmm. It's, it's very subtle, nice. but there's like there's like a complexity to it. Mm -hmm. Well, let's venture on into San Antonio and show them how cool the Pearl Brewery is. I'm so tired, I can't even like put words into words. <laughs> oh. Oh. Caffeine. We're in a couple shops before we go and eat, and I am in love with this wrapping paper. I feel like even for Christmas it'd be so pretty. It's reversible, and it looks like pressed flowers. And I think if you did like green ribbon, but it's six dollars a sheet. And I'm wondering if y'all have seen any paper that looks like this online. Maybe a little more cost efficient, because this is great inspo. Like this green ribbon, can you picture it? Maybe mixing in something simple like this. Happy Christmas. We're having a lovely little pre-dinner date in this like courtyard. There's a Christmas tree back here and it's really quite pretty. And Joy already started asking me a deep question and I said, wait, we should, actually he said, he said, we mm. should share this with the vlog. Yeah. And what were you asking? Why do you do what you do? Mm -hmm. And who has been transformed through your work and how? So we were kind of starting to say that I think that the first why of doing what I do was kind of escapism for myself and for other people. Mm -hmm. Just trying to be like a happy, safe spot for people to turn off their brain and relax. But now I think why I do what I do is to give myself permission to be authentic and messy and show other people that that's okay too, because being a human is messy and great and awesome and sad and hard and everything in between. I meet people in real life that tell me like, that hearing your stories help me blank, help me blank, but I don't know. What are some of those blanks? Like, help me feel less alone, mm -hmm. or helped my, me be a good friend to a friend that's navigating something hard. Mm -hmm. um, or like the family event the other night. I met a very sweet family the other night, but I think I can't speak to their experiences as much because it's not mine. But I know I've been transformed. Like, I've given myself so much more permission over the years of doing this, of being like, it's actually so much worse to try to be perfect. <laughs> and it's so much more freeing to just allow yourself to be. What about you? As David Bowie put it one time, mm -hmm. um, making art is creating something outside of yourself that represents you so that you can understand yourself and your relation to the world. Ooh. Other people get to come along on that ride of me learning about myself and so they learn little lessons maybe of how to learn about themselves in the process. Sounds familiar. Yeah. There's been a lot of Jordy in this vlog mm -hmm. but also this is going to be the last vlog miss you see him so I'm just trying to get it all in. Yeah. You know what I mean? The next 15 videos will have no Jordy. You guys be nice to her while I'm gone okay? <laughs> I, I see you. I, I see you Karen. Don't put stop typing. had a lovely dinner and sadly I'm about to go take Jordy to the airport which makes me sad but I'm realizing that the sun's setting so I'm just gonna go ahead and end vlogmas day two here but two. I day two but I want to say thanks again to Seed for partnering with me on today's video um, I'm gonna have the promo code down below which is like just limited time for the 25% off after that if you're watching later still 15% off your first month I love you thank you for being here and I will see you in another video very soon and you won't see this guy till next year yeah you want to say bye to them goodbye goodbye <laughs> goodbye till next year <laughs> goodbye to you till tomorrow yeah.
drove to the suburbs with our Christmas lists. Waiting for parking, you gave me a gift.